I'm stupid and I didn't understand that I'd have to be right up survivor mate's ass in order for him to do his job. So uh, as the good micromanager I am of robotic people, um, I have stood here for about an hour and just let him did his thing. Now here's the problem. The dumbass keeps getting stuck in a circle on bushes. What is up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to the channel and welcome to episode 21 of our aberration series guys. I hope you guys have been enjoying the series. If you had, please go ahead, drop that like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. We are extremely close to 500, 44 more to go as of time of recording and we will be able to start on our affiliation for the YouTube partner stuff. It's going to be great. We're going to be able to add a bunch of stuff and i'm super excited it's gonna be great so as you guys can hear in the background talking is survivor mate uh i've had him created now for probably about a week but i wanted to wait until i got all the other videos that i wanted done done first so today we are going to actually learn how to use survivor mate i've already kind of figured some of it out so hopefully whenever i get this guy started um he will be really good to go uh also i gave him skelly colors which is fantastic he looks amazing so uh i have things set already the only thing that i don't have set is the berries so i'm gonna go around here real quick and i'm just gonna gather all the berries that i can and then um i don't know if there are any mushrooms up here i'm gonna take a look and see but if there are some mushrooms around here that's gonna be fantastic also if you guys are having um issues with the lighting please let me know i would like to uh make sure that i'm fixing that because i did do a little bit of different stuff as you could tell the game looks a lot sharper it looks a lot more crisp uh because i ended up adjusting a bunch of settings with the help of everybody on the server and it was great it's fantastic so now the game runs good. I'm getting over 40 FPS. It's a beautiful thing. So from what I have learned from my research with it is we are going to drop one of all these different items in here. There's the four mushrooms. There's the berries. We need the cyan berry, uh, magenta, narcotic, mayo, uh, rare mushroom. Um, okay, survivor mate, he's talking about kill, crush, and destroy. So let's see, do we have the four major ones? We got narcotic, Azul. Uh, yeah, we have everything. So uh, there's Amar, Azul, narcotic, Mayho, Stem, and Tinto. And then we have Cyan, Verde, and Magenta. Okay, sweet. So we have all of these. Now, here's what we're going to want to do, though. You see these slots down here. So I don't think I'll be able to do all of them because you get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You get 10 slots. So we're going to do, let's see, there's 48 slots in here. We're going to do two slots of each. So we're going to do two there. Um, the mushrooms I'm more wanting to do. Um, I hate that if you click on it, it messes it up. That's so stupid. Um, do, 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 do. All right, there's that. And then these are the ones that I'm more uh, interested in getting. The Mayho, the Stem, and all of them. I just realized that rhymed. No, 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 no. All right, uh, let's do these. And then let's do, I hate that. All right, so we could get two more on there. I think we'll do rare mushroom. Um, and then I think if I can get some biotoxin, um, I didn't bring any of my creatures with me. Um, do, 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 do. I don't, I don't know if there's any biotoxin on here, but anyway, what we're doing is I've had this base here for a while. I've been collecting congealed gas balls uh, for some time. So 
whenever you do this from what i have learned is that if you put this down as 45 stacks there will be 45 stacks of that specific item so i have done that with all of them i have done wood i have done thatch i have done fiber i have done nothing in that one and i've done uh 30 flint and 15 stone here i'm probably actually going to remove the stone remove his input i'm going to make sure that this one gets the full stack um we're gonna do 40 45 there we go perfect and then i'm gonna take out the stone and put all the stone in here and then i'm gonna put this as 45 as well and then over here i have the metal already in here so that's gonna be fun i haven't done anything with the mortar and pestle i don't think oh i do have some in here just in case so i can make some spark powder um i could probably put some chitin in there but there's no point um yeah also i want to go ahead and fungal wood i also want to make sure that just in case i don't get any extra wood um i'm gonna do we'll do we'll do 12 stacks of this no We'll do 12 stacks of this instead because fungal wood is going to be a lot easier than that. Um, I'm also going to change that with the other one as well. Um, so right here, I'm going to actually change this to, let's say, we'll give it five stacks just in case. And then the rest of it will be fungal wood. Um, so we'll do 40 stacks of that. So that should fill up all of these. So now the only thing we got to do is come over here, talk to survivor mate. And then he has <laughs> his lines are so funny. Um, let's go ahead and just throw them into each mode. So here's Butler mode. Oh, I was having such a nice user free dream. Okay. Um, here is repair mode. I have some light repair work. will damp my edge to kill. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. Um, you do use survivor mate. Hard labor, is it? My user is so good to me. Okay, wow, these are awesome. So this is the one that we're gonna have. And then um I was, I just don't like it. Now what we need to do is we need to focus on getting the big materials first. So what I'm, I think I need like one of each in my inventory or in its inventory. So we're going to. Oh, I, oh, I'll be right behind you. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Okay, so now we're going to do this. Uh, we're gonna do this, this, um, this, this. <laughs> this dude's so good um okay so now we're going to add his input 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 um i need some stone oh oh he's already doing his job let me grab some stone real quick And then, oh my God, he's getting berries too. That is input. All right, so he's just gonna go to town. He's gonna gather what I need and everything should be sorted. So um, yeah, I'm gonna come back here in like 30 minutes just to see what he's doing. Um, that's actually, what are you doing at the moment, sir? Oh, you're collecting stuff. Does it get a reduction to, in weight? Oh, he's actually mining the... Oh, that is so good, dude. That's so good. Wow, that's that's awesome. All right, yeah, I will be back here in some time. Um, we're gonna we're gonna actually go ahead and take my brand new colored zeppelin oh my god it looks absolutely amazing 
Oh, I want to bring it into the light though, because the light's really going to show it off. This looks amazing. I cannot wait to actually see it in the light. Uh, this area is super good. I have some other projects going on in this area, but uh, those will be shown in a different episode whenever I am ready for that. Um, in the next episode, we're actually going to go ahead and finish out the main base because I have finally put the floor down. And uh, there was a couple things that I was supposed to show you guys yesterday that I never talked to you about. So I guess once we get over here to base, I will uh, go ahead and show those off. It's nothing super crazy, but it's enough to make me like, hey, I need to go ahead and like show this off in a video because it was a lot of work, a lot of work. I spent hours trying to get this stuff done. Um, I'm also in the middle of trying to build a grinder because of all the extra crap that I'm getting from the surface drops that I don't really need. And yeah, it's just going to help keep resources up as I'm spending them. So it's going to be a good resource once I get it. I just need a shit ton of crystal. I need 2000 crystal polymer. I'm not worried about because we have the crabs and then I have everything else except for the crystal and the polymer. So I just have to work on that over the next couple of days. Hopefully get that done. Hopefully by tonight, if I just focus on getting some crystal. Um, I don't know if there's any crystal over there. I might need to get a crystal thing going and just have it put all the crystal inside of the smithy. I think that would be a good use of the survivor mate. I don't know if he's going to be continuing to do it even while I'm gone. Hopefully he is, um, but we'll see. I'm going to go back and check here in about 30 minutes to see how he's rocking and rolling but uh let's go ahead and observe the absolute beauty of this the purple blue pink black uh i never thought my channel colors were going to be purple pink blue and black i enjoy it though it looks so good and i really can't wait to get all the other stuff that i need to done um i'm working on getting the two songs finished and i'm working on getting the uh the what you call it the emotes and everything done. Uh, I have commissioned somebody for it. Uh, I do plan on doing other commissions later on. So if you happen to be an artist watching my videos, uh, hit me up in my email address uh, down in the description. And then let me go ahead and just kind of center this a little bit. No, 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 no. This is the only thing bad thing about this area. There we go. It's not perfect, but it'll work. All right. But yeah, that is that. It looks so good. Um, this is the elevator that I have built. Uh, I'm going to build a little like top on top of it to fill it out. Probably going to do a little bit more up here as well. But uh, we have a glass elevator shaft and I have used the aesthetic mods for the uh, Scorched Earth series. It looks really good. And then over here, we have ourselves some bowls. I'm going to end up stacking these all the way across, except for right there in the center, uh, obviously, because that's where my lights are. I have the industrial furnace going. I also have uh, some stuff in there as well. And then I have put the floor down, the beehives over there uh, after that absolute annoying episode last episode. Um, but yeah. I'm also going to be updating the inside of here at some point once I get everything said and done. I want to get the rest of the base finished first before I start worrying about uh, trying to touch up everything and basically get it ready for its final uh, its final production line for how it's going to look. Um, the grinder is going to go in here. I'm going to add a bunch of stuff over here. I was going to make this the hanger, but it just was not enough space. Uh, I probably should have made it a little bit bigger, but it is what it is. So yeah, I will see you guys here in a little bit to kind of give you an update on how Survivor Mate is. And yeah, we're going to try him out on all of his different settings to see what he can do. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we are back after actually quite a few hours because um, I'm stupid and I didn't understand that I'd have to be right up Survivor Mate's ass in order for him to do his job. So uh, as the good micromanager I am of robotic people, um, I have stood here for about an hour and just let him did his thing. Now, here's the problem. The dumbass keeps getting stuck in a circle on bushes. This is what he does. Um, so I'm probably gonna 
talk to somebody at Twitter, probably at Dolly or somebody, Cedric maybe. I don't know. Just people who are over there at Wildcard that pay attention to uh, social media and stuff. Because this is now the second problem that I have found with the aberration Bob's Tall Tales stuff. The first one was that skins mess with the elevators and they can't move because it actually meshes and hits the skin themselves because it thinks it's an actual like uh, structure there that should obscure it, but it doesn't. And now we've got Survivor Mate who is 360 no scoping a freaking bush. So in order to fix this uh, for the moment, you just punch him. It's stupid because I am actually damaging him. As you can tell, I've had to hit him quite a bit, but yeah, he heals. So that's good. I'm not worried about that part, but he goes around and he sends out this yellow beam to get all this stuff for me. I have had him already uh, going over here and putting stuff in. Um, well, he's gone over here and done it, but he has not done it here. So I might have to move some stuff around, uh, maybe build a couple more uh, thatch bases and stuff. Let me real quick go ahead and do this. Um, so now this guy might be good on other maps. I don't know about Ab because this is such a cliff heavy like area um, in order to really have him be beneficial. So what do I, what am I missing here? I need fiber. Okay. I can do that. Uh, survivor mate actually has quite a bit on him. So 500 weight. And if I come over to him, I can look, this is all the stuff that he has in him so far. He's been putting the stuff where it needs to go, which is actually really nice. So I'm going to go ahead and take that from you, my guy. Thank you so much. And then, um, not trap. I need thatch. So, we're going to go ahead and craft more of these so I can move some stuff around and make it a little bit easier for him to collect the things that we need collected. Um, the range on this guy is also insane. It goes all the way up there, all the way over to the other side of there. Actually, let me just go ahead and show you real quick because it's nuts. Like it goes all the way over there, all the way up there. And then it goes all the way down to like the very bottom of this cliff face. It's insane and it goes all the way out there. It's crazy how much range this guy has. It's super nice. Um, so let me go ahead and move all this crap around so that a uh, survivor mate can go ahead and do what he needs to do. I'll go ahead and put this right here so it no longer obstructs. Uh, so now he should be able to put stuff in all of these and this should be more accessible to him as well. Uh, yeah, so this is survivor mate is definitely useful if he works properly because this is my gas vein. He has not touched it. It's maxed out. Um, this area is really cool too because there's a charge station right there and then there is a healing plant uh, not too far away either. I think it's just on the other side of this guy right here oh, it was I don't remember oh there it is it's right there next to it so yeah there's a healing plant right here there's a charging station there's a gas vein this is a really cool spot plus this is super super close like let me show you just how close to yeah see he's doing his loops again let me show you how close we are to blue zone bam there's blue zone right there that waypoint is where we were uh, in the last video to get that roll rat and then I have some other stuffs uh, building over there that I'm working on. So yeah, at the moment, here is the railway area where the blue zone begins over on the far uh, left side by, or far right, yeah, left side by portal. So because it's bugged, Adding injury to yes, sir, I am, because you are currently getting stuck on the dumbest things. So this is gonna be my little resource base because this area is super saturated with a bunch of rocks and trees and everything else i'm probably gonna get maybe like one or two more survivor mates built over here i'm also gonna build one over at my base as well uh 
I don't know how it's going to work because originally I was going to build the uh, community center in a spot, but uh, I need some people to move their stuff first before I can do that. I'm probably going to start building that here in a few episodes because that's going to take me a long time to build. And I'm probably going to recruit everybody that is possible to build in order to help me get that done because it is a massive project that I have planned. Um, so we're going to do that at some point. I need to go get water real quick before I end up passing out and dying. So, oh yeah, there's another healing plant here too. I forgot about that one. So, let me just... Um, down there. Going down fast as hell, boy. And come over here where it's safer. Oh, well, maybe not as safe. There's a Carcanos right there. That's not very good. Let me just right here. Fantastic. All right, let me go ahead and get something to drink. And let us begin swinging. Come on. Sometimes Cosmo does not work properly. And the combination of these two can be useful, but boy, are they annoying. You just cannot hit spacebar at all. Like why? Why do I need, why did I need that to glue it? Why? Why? All right. Anyway, let's get back up here. Uh, cause he, he does stuff, uh, just as long as you're in render distance of him. Uh, I don't know why they would do that. If he's supposed to be an autonomous creature, he shouldn't need presence in order to work. I don't think that should be a thing. Because I know that if you put like creatures on wandering, they'll create eggs for you whenever you're not at base. But the problem is, is like this guy right here should be able to do it with no problem at all. Like I shouldn't even have to worry about this guy. But yet I have to because this dude cannot function properly without me being right up his ass. So I don't know. I have my qualms about him. But I'm sure eventually once I've like fully seen what this guy can do and I've spent a lot more time with him, he's going to be a lot more useful. Uh, so just a little update. Is he spinning around again? He's spinning around again. See, like, why? What are you doing, my guy? Okay. There we go. Jesus. I did not put his marker there. What the hell? His marker moved. All right, there we go. Um, yeah, so there we go. He's doing stuff. He's just doing it very, very slow. Oh my goodness. Now he is, he is really fun. I do enjoy having him. Oh, of course it's a 90% night and I've completely missed it. Damn it, dude. I want to, I want to go out and do another run, but I want this guy to actually operate. So let's see what has he done so far? So he did put this stuff in there for me. So down here at the bottom, uh, when you put the stacks in there, that's how many stacks they will put in there for you, which is really beneficial. Um, in here, I got all the fruits and stuff that I could possibly need. Oh, excuse me, which is great. If you would actually put all the stuff in there. Um, I definitely think that there is some streamlining stuff that they should do with this guy. There are a bunch of fixes. Work, damn it. This is stupid. I shouldn't have to do that. Um, yeah, so that's what we are working with right now at the moment when it comes to survivor mate. There are definitely things that I think as a new add on that they should fix with him. One is 
what he's doing right now with that circling around shit that's really annoying and i i don't think that that's going to be beneficial for anybody if it's going to keep constantly getting stuck on the dumbest things but then you also have the fact that whenever i put him over here he doesn't put all of the stuff in here all at once he only puts like a handful in there at a time so i don't know if there's a way that he can be fixed like see he's already doing it again like i should not have to be punching him constantly like he's gathering stuff clearly he's getting good amount of stuff like all this I might take him off of doing bushes. That's really annoying. Um, maybe that'll help because I think because he's going after the fiber and stuff so much, he's not focusing on anything else. So maybe this will help. He'll start gathering more rocks, more trees. He won't be spinning around. Maybe that's the problem right now. I'm not entirely sure. It's very annoying either way that that is a problem that we have. There's a lot of things that I feel as like I've been playing this more often that they could definitely fix. Like Survivor Mate is now one of them. The fact that the skins are busted, some of the colorations and aberration, I feel like should be a lot different. Like Crystalline Lake and the crystals over in that area don't look because I went back and looked on ASC uh earlier today and it was a lot better on that map than it was anywhere else and it's upsetting to see that a game that's supposed to be an upgrade is downgrading in so many different spots like honestly sometimes it feels like the ai was better in ase than it was in asa and i don't think that it should be that way like i feel like if we're paying what is it like 60 dollars right now basically to replay arc in a quote-unquote upgraded fashion we shouldn't have these type like why is he circling there's no reason he should be doing that uh, i do feel like it's a good add-on survivor mate is great there's just a lot of criticisms that i have right now for using it and mind you i've only been using it for a couple of hours but if he was just sitting there constantly spinning in that one spot and i afk'd in this area for six and a half hours and for that six and a half hours he circled one particular bush nothing got done and every amount of time that was spent there got wasted so it's very unfortunate but uh hopefully that gets fixed because it would be really nice to see this guy work properly um also for the next few episodes i do have them planned already and i am probably going ahead and get them recorded uh over the next couple of days because I need to get a bunch of other stuff done. Um, as you guys can tell, I stay busy quite a bit, uh, especially with work, with the YouTube stuff. I also have real life. I have people that I need to take care of. So I need to make sure that I am balancing all that out. So I'm going to record a few episodes. So if you see not a whole lot of change uh, in between episodes, that's because they're probably uh, recorded right next to each other. Uh, for the next couple of episodes, we're going to be going down to the blue zone. Because in the next episode, I plan on going and getting some Megalosaurs because I need to get ready to start taking on the Radiation Zone and getting some Rock Drake Eggs. And I'm going to do that with the Megalo, uh, a couple of them. And then I also need to go ahead and get a berry for the underwater cave uh because i need to do the water cave at some point just to go ahead and get that uh, i'm also going to be finishing up the base area and i'm going to do some more stuff uh i do know that i have all the next like four and a half episodes planned so that's going to be a very very fun time for me um also i do have something to show you guys um i don't have it on me so let me actually oh is he putting the stuff up i think he's putting the stuff up Oh my god, he's putting the stuff up. Sorry, wasn't programmed for small talk. Yeah, but you're also not what are you doing? What are you doing right now, dude? Oh my god, that is spark powder, my man. 
let me go ahead and get some of this going so that we can have a little bit of spark powder in here fantastic um what are you doing are you stuck on that bro there's like why how is this a thing how is this a thing so stupid and now see i have to redo all of that that is so dumb oh it's you there you are okay let's see there are eight of these so we'll each allow them to have six stacks oh no there's nine of them We'll just do this. Uh, this is very annoying. Man, please. People at Wildcard, I understand that you guys are busy with a bunch of stuff right now. But for the love of God, please fix this stuff. Like, it's small stuff that should not be a problem. Hopefully, with the 5.4 update, we shouldn't have to worry about all the uh the issues because it's supposed to fix the ai and everything else uh, what are you doing up there that's definitely one way to do it but why are you up there there's a whole fucking platform for you what are you doing survivor The fact that you guys didn't make that a one where the eye is, is dis disappointing. I feel like that could have worked. Um, so let's see how he's doing. He's definitely putting stuff in there. Got plenty of fiber, plenty of stone, plenty of that. Congealed gas balls he's not going to get right now. So I guess he's coming over here and doing his thing now. Yeah, so now he's not putting all the other crap in there. Like, why didn't he put these in there whenever I was over there putting it down? Why is there still more stuff in there? Okay, yeah, I think that's basically going to be it for Survivor Mate. Um, actually, no, I kind of want to... I want to take him out with me and see what he is capable of. So let me go ahead and put you on to... What happens when I put you on... Okay, what happens when I put you on butler mode? Why is this zero weight in his inventory? That's weird. What is he doing? I am so confused. What is going on right now? What is butler mode doing? Or is he... Oh, is he putting stuff in there? It would be so much better if you didn't just okay let me do follower mode um now i'm stuck inside of him there we go so is this basically just a 500 pound backpack is he stuck bro there's no way you are getting can i ball you up You 100% can. And that makes him lighter. He's not 500 fucking pounds. Oh, it's so good. That's that's amazing. That's so and he has 125% movement speed. Awesome. Okay, let me let me go ahead and uh put this stuff up. Cuz clearly this guy is incapable of doing so. What is that? Oh, that's stuff behind it. I thought that was a smudge on my computer for a second. Um, I don't need fiber in there. Got so much extra stuff on him that I wish he would put away. There's a reason. I don't know. I think I'm going to do some more testing on this guy. He definitely seems like he's got potential to be a good, like, 
thing, but I'm I'm not sure at the moment how I feel about them. I feel like there's a lot more that they could do with them. There's a lot more that they need to do with him. Um, the follower mode, I just see that him as a... Does he fight? Let me go see if this guy fights. Um, let's see. Where would be a good spot to see where he, if he fights or not? Probably somewhere around here. I want to see if he fights. I'm just curious if he does. So if I take this guy and say I shoot Parasaur. Okay. Say I shoot the Dodo. Oh, my bad. Um, Parasaur. What are you used for? Is he literally just a 500 pound backpack? Oh God, the Dodo's coming. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Fuck. Jesus. Okay. I cannot aim. Um. Oh, hello, roll rat. What level are you? 15. So this thing doesn't help you except just to be a backpack then. That's all I'm seeing. That is the only thing that I am seeing. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Okay. He's not nearly as useful as I thought he was. I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on this guy, but um, honestly, guys, that's probably it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed my first look into survivor mate. Honestly, uh, first impressions of him. Um, he's good. I don't like the fact that you have to be in render distance of him. I don't like the fact that he gets caught on fiber, even though that's a resource that I would like to be collected nearby. I would like berries to be collected nearby. Um, yeah, uh, I feel like there's a lot that needs to be fixed. A lot that needs to be updated on it. Um, hopefully with some time, they'll get it done. I really, really hope that they do. I'm hoping that a lot of this stuff gets fixed with the 5.4 update for uh, Unreal Engine. So we'll see. Hopefully it does some performance issues. It fixes some of the AI issues. It fixes some of the foliage issues. Hopefully it gives us some more abilities to like decrease the grass. Obviously, I know that there are commands to do that. But honestly, there's just so much stuff that I feel like they could do to fix a lot of these problems. So, uh, yeah, guys, that's going to be all. Please like, comment down below, and subscribe. Uh, we are very close to 500, which means we're very close to members. We're very close to super chats, emotes, all that fun stuff. And I'm super, super excited. Also, once we start getting close to 1,000 subscribers, when we hit about 950 subscribers, I will be streaming until we hit 1,000 subscribers. I'm going to be asking for time off in order to do that or do that over a couple of days. Uh, hopefully it just doesn't happen while I'm working because unfortunately I cannot ask off for a lot of days since that is how I pay to do this job. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed a lot of stuff to look forward to a lot of stuff that I've got planned. Um, I hope you guys are excited for all of it because I know that I really am. I will see you guys in the next video where we're going to go tame ourselves some megalosaurs. So uh, have yourselves a good day, a good night, a good week, and I'll see you all in that one.